Hi everyone, Lois here, and I thought I'd bring you some recent news relating to Pokemon Go. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel. Especially those with disabilities similar to mine. I do apologize for the lack of a video last week as there was a lack of news to report, but this week there's a ton of news to report. And we're going to start with... The debut of the Master Ball into Pokemon Go, which will be a reward for finishing the Let's Go special research story. The Master Ball, which of course first debuted in Gen 1 of Pokemon, which allows you to catch any Pokemon without fail, has been in the code for Pokemon Go since 2016 when Pokemon Go made it its debut worldwide but was unused which meant Niantic was saving for something special and here it is at last at almost seven years after the game launched worldwide and of course, to coincide with the conclusion of the Let's Go special research story, there will also be a Team Go Rocket event called Rising Shadows, which will also mark the debut of Shadow Raids. And Shadow Mewtwo will return, but this time, for the first time, as a raid boss and you'll also be able to catch it as a shiny as well rising shadows will be from monday may 22nd 2023 at 10 a.m the sunday may 28th 2023 at 8 p.m. local time. Shadow Mewtwo won't be the only Shadow Pokemon to appear at Shadow Raids. You'll also be able to catch Poliwag, Machop, Bellsprout, Beldum, Bayleaf, Palava, Croconaw, and Jotarian Sneasel, which of course, four of these eight Pokemon will be available as Shinies, and they are Poliwag, Machop, Beldum, and Jotarian Sneasel. In addition to the Shadow Raids, you'll also be able to do normal raids. Clefairy, Tentacle, Meryl, Skrelp, Hoplio, Magneton, Lapras, Mawile, and Pilon, Regigigas, and Topafini. with six of these Pokemon being available as Shinies, and they are Clefairy, Tentacle, Meryl, Lapras, Mawile, Regigigas, and Topafini. And for Mega Raids, you have Mega Pinsir, will be available until May 24th and Mega Altaria which will arrive on the same date. Both can be shiny. As for Wild Encounters, you'll have Ekans, Golbat, Coffin, Houndour, Poochiana, Stunky, Skaroopy, Hisui, Quillfish, and Scraggy. The following Pokemon that you'll be able to catch in the wild can be shiny. They are Ekans, Coffin, Hound, Dower, Puchiena, and Skaroopy. The event bonuses are that Team Go Rocket runs for the leaders 
will appear more frequently at Poke Stops and in balloons. There will be centered field research involving defeating grunts and catching Pokemon. And there will also be an avatar pose for whenever you your avatar, I mean, as a reward that will be available starting during the event onwards in the in-game store. In other Pokemon news, also announced this week, you will finally be able to connect Pokemon Home with Scarlet and Violet versions starting next Wednesday, May 24th. On the 23rd, Pokemon Home will be updated to version 3.00 and you'll be able to connect your Scarlet and Violet versions which will allow you to transfer Pokemon from Generation 9 into Pokemon Home. And any Pokemon that were found in Gen 8, in Gen 9, in titles like Sword and Shield, can be transferred into those games. And any Pokemon that are from Generations 1 through 4, that are also in Sword and Shield, in addition to Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, and Legends Arceus can also be transferred from Scarlet and Violet into those titles, but Pokemon from Scarlet and Violet cannot be transferred into Sword, Shield, Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, nor Legends Arceus at all. And of course, You'll be able to get the Paldalian starters, all three of them, to celebrate the launch of this new connectivity between Pokemon Home and Gen 9. And you'll also be able to transfer any roaming gimme ghoul that you caught in Pokemon Go as well. Because you can only catch the chest form of Gibby Ghoul in Scarlet and Violet. One more thing. I hope to have more content in the days, weeks, and months ahead. Because this Sunday, I'll be making the video for Benekin Community Day, and I look forward to that. And I hope to resume live streaming sometime in the future. In the meantime, this is Lewis saying, Thanks for watching, everyone! You can also follow me on Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Remember, it's time for adventure!